All right, welcome back to Ozarks Live. You know, last week we showed you Cammie's newest adventure, gardening. We saw her in the beginning stages of getting the soil ready and all of that jazz, but this week it's time for her put away that heavy equipment, Cammie. Get your hands dirty. Oh, yeah, so let's see how things are going. Take a look. Hey y'all, last week I showed you how we're completely overhauling the garden. We got rid of all the old dirt, rocks, and weeds, and we put in compost. So then we got to go shopping for all the new bedding plants that we're going to put in. Take a look. Dried tomatoes? What do you do with that? I would have assumed that you would take a tomato and then like dry it out to make sun dried tomatoes. Let's try it. Squash is really good. Edamame? What? In this pot, we're going to put either patio tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, and we're going to put it up by the house because I love just walking by it, grabbing one, sticking it in my mouth anytime I'm walking to or from my car or to the mailbox. So we have it filled with gravel a little bit up from the bottom, and then we have the compost on top of that. That way it can drain easily, and we also have holes that we drilled on the bottom of this pot. It'll be perfect for the cherry tomatoes. We're putting things on the edge that can spill over. This is cantaloupe because it'll kind of grow like vine-like. told me that I could just take my garlic cloves, which I love garlic, and just plant them. So I'm new at this, but I'm definitely going to try it, get my own garlic going here. Broccoli was one of the first things that we had planted before we overhauled the garden, and then we had to replant it. And so look, I'm already getting some broccoli. Well, we've got just about everything planted that we bought, but I think the one thing that I'm missing is fresh herbs so I can cook with them all summer. So that is next on my agenda. 